you'll get your load information from your dispatcher. And from what I understand, the dispatchers are not here centrally. They're located abroad. So in order to get in contact with your dispatcher, there's ways that you can do it. I think one of which is a WhatsApp, uh, the international phone number app. Uh, there's a bypass person that you probably might talk to over here to get to them over there. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I talked to a few recruiters with the company to know that some of the dispatchers aren't here in the States. <laughs> Good old super evil. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Minding my business on Facebook, scrolling through multiple groups, and I come across this interesting ditty that I found in the super eagle group that I'm a part of. It's a little bit lengthy, but it it I hope you understand, okay, that super eagle, once again, a lot of people need to know. That is Super Eagle as a whole is not a trucking company per se, right? So Super Eagle is, again, as everybody say, it's a holding company. And that's that's what it is. It's, it's a holding company. They have multiple little entities up under their holdings that they use for trucking companies. A lot of the drivers that drive for them are contracting. They're 1099. They have to pay for their own trucks. They get 75% of the load. They have to pay for their fueling and everything else. Their money is, is controlled per se. Okay. Now, if I'm wrong in saying that, then let me know. Let me know. Maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm saying that to not understand that, but their, their money is pretty much controlled. So you'll get your load information from your dispatcher and from what i understand the dispatchers are not here centrally they're located abroad so in order to get in contact with your dispatcher there's ways that you can do it i think one of which is a whatsapp uh, the international phone number app uh, there's a bypass person that you probably might talk to over here to get to them over there i i don't know i don't know but i i talked to a few recruiters with the company to know that some of the dispatchers aren't here in the states now i used to work for a company I, I used to work for a black ops company and yes my dispatcher was not here i had to talk to him via text and the only way to get in contact with him is i had to call his sky phone or something like that i don't know i don't know I would get up here, say it's eight o'clock, and I'd still literally have to wait about two or three hours because they're not on the same timeline that we're here. So as I said before, your money is controlled. They'll find a they'll find a dispatch for you. They'll send it out to you. They'll ask you if you want it. They'll give you the information. This is how much it, it is, or whatever the case. And if you're interested, you say yay or nay now some of which they'd be like well we can't find no loads it's it's pretty dry it's freight slow right now but then they'll come and ask you well we found this load right here if you do us this favor to run this load we'll try to find another load for you now i'm a company driver and i i heard that all the time now as far as being asked favors but the companies take advantage of that in particular a few dispatchers they do take advantage of that so if it's to their advantage it's not a problem but if it's to your advantage it is but let's get into this story this young man says my father and i joined this fraudulent company as a team drivers they literally offered us fuel cards and offered maintenance they said it was 75 percent of the take all loads that they take is 25 percent it was all good during orientation, but when we started to work, that's when we start noticing that the lows that are being provided by the dispatch were a lot lower than the lows that they are actually worth. My father and I owns a hot shot trucking and we constantly can see the load board. I saw the same lows that they provided me for a lot more than what they wanted to give me. 
I kept asking for a rate confirmation. They don't provide them. We decided to continue with them. All of our paychecks were withheld three weeks. We never got paid, not even a dime. They would sent us pay stubs saying that we did the work on trailers and trucks, but we never did. We kept arguing nonstop. They wanted to leave us stranded in Jersey. They had someone to come and get the truck at the love truck stops we were at. But we said, F you, you'll get it when we will get home. You pay, you'll get it. We drove from Jersey to Florida, kept the trucks for four months. They owe me parking, they owe me storage, and they owe me for loads that they never paid us for. They sent one of their recovery drivers who broke into their lot. They stole the equipment. We called the cops, and of course the cops can't do anything. I'm already in a class action lawsuit, one of many. Anyone that had issues can sign up with them. This company, Super Eagle and all of its affiliates needs to be shut down. I hate seeing people taken advantage of. There are hardworking men and women that works for this company that gets taken advantage of on a daily basis. I try to make the money and have a win-win with everybody around. But with Super Ego, Super Ego is a bad company and it should be shut down. What do you guys think? I this driver right here with his pops, they ran teams. So they told they was told a nice little story. They was given a nice little package only to get on board with the company and being shown a totally different side of what the company is has offered them initially you do your research you talk you talk to the recruiter the recruiter give you the spiel make it all nice give you a nice little package and you fall into that trap you go to the orientation same thing with the orientation they give you a nice little package you fall into the trap as soon as you sign on the dotted line that's where things change so once you with the company everything turns to shit. everything and it just happens with driver after driver after driver after driver with this company. Now, again, you got the Kool-Aid drinkers with so much information that is provided right now as far as reviews, class action lawsuits, all sorts of stuff that's going on with this company that you have read, that you have seen, that you have heard. Why are you still going with this company this company has proved to you time and time and time and time again that only a handful of people make money over there but what do you guys think of this post right here this is another post from a driver that was sold a dream and that dream turned into another super eagle nightmare